will be the MLK parade against police brutality. Um, what's the situation with police brutality in Albuquerque Dr. for folks who don't know? Um, unfortunately, in Albuquerque, there's a huge epidemic of uh, police brutality. Um, and it's not only just people being killed uh, by police, it's people who are just being, um, you know, beat up. Um, people who are being like a, a disrespected. For the second time, yeah. I mean, um, some of the major problems are people being beat up. Um, people who are being disrespected, uh, you know, people who are being, e women who have even been sexually abused uh, by police. So it's, police brutality here in Albuquerque isn't just limited to people being killed um, and murdered by police, but also people who have just had violence committed against them uh, by a person with a badge. And um, there's been uh, many instances of uh, individuals who have uh, made complaints. And uh, fortunately, because of the struggle being waged uh, by many different activists, including our our group, the Answer Coalition, um, we've been able to get the federal government to come in and investigate the Albuquerque police. Um, whether or not that's going to result in anything is... Um, is unknown to us at this point in time. And uh, what we want to do is have community control over over the police. And the only way we can do that is by continuing to uh, have a presence in the streets um, with protests, with speak outs, um, with uh, information. And that's the, the best thing we can do right now. What would community control look like on a practical level? On a practical level, um, we have a, a system in place um, known as the Police Oversight Commission, but unfortunately, uh, this is not an elected group of individuals. Um, it's a, this group is appointed by elected officials, and they have absolutely no power in disciplining officers. Um, the basic, the discipline, uh, disciplinary action lies in the hands of the police chief solely. And the Police Oversight Commission today, all they can do is give suggestions. So the police chief is not elected, he's a appointed by the mayor? Yes, and the police chief is appointed by the mayor. Um, he's not an elected official. Um, so one thing would, that would change would be an elected police chief. Uh, another thing would be to have the Police Oversight Commission also be an elected body of citizens. And we would want uh, that elected body of officials to have power over have power in, in regards to dis disciplinary action against officers. And with a federal investigation, what could the result be from that if they're proactive in disciplining the APD? Well, the thing is, is one thing that we're worried about is that they're going to throw a few officers under the bus and try to kind of quell, uh, you know, the outrage that people have with police violence um, just by doing that, by, you know, imprisoning a few officers here and there. And then people will think that the that the problem is, is solved and it's done with. And then it might... It might make things uh, worse because people will be lulled into a sense of uh, of comfort, uh, thinking that that all had been done and that there's no more struggle to be engaged in. So that's one of the the fears we have is that if they do come in and they do discipline a few officers, that um, the systemic the systemic uh, um, I guess you could say the systemic risks that are involved with that. Uh, haven't been haven't been addressed. What could they do to address the systemic problem? Is there any examples of other cities where the, the Department of Justice has come in and um, systemically? Uh, currently, currently, um, there aren't very many examples of when of how the federal government has uh, gotten rid of or solved systemic problems. Um, but they have successfully prosecuted uh, police officers who who are uh, who have been accused and convicted of uh, police brutality. Uh, for example, in New Orleans. Um, it, uh, a few o a few officers were uh, convicted of murder of uh, uh, certain individuals during um, Hurricane Katrina and the disaster there. 
So it does happen, but like I said, none of these investigations ever take care of systemic problems. Mm -hmm. Any statistics on the problem? The number of police murders, the amount of police brutality? Yeah, uh, between 2010 and 2011, uh, APD uh, had killed 17 individuals. Um, which is way more than the city uh, uh, the city of New York, which um, has a, a population nearly five times the size, well, eight times the size of, uh, of Albuquerque. So, I mean, per capita, uh, police officers kill more individuals in Albuquerque than in the city of New York. And do you, do you think the problem comes from the top with the police chief and the mayor? Are they to blame? Should they be fired? Or? I mean, they are to blame because they're continuing to uphold an unfair ju a, a justice system. So, I mean, yes, to a certain degree, they are to blame. Um, but if we change, you know, if we change the mayor and we change who the chief is, like, that's not going to change the system. And so, you know, we could have all of these changing figureheads, but it's not going to change anything. Fundamentally. Fundamentally, you want community control. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess at some level you need to change the culture in the, the police department. Right. Ideally, ideally, the power structure is set up to so where, you know, ordinary working class citizens don't have a say in what things are happening. I mean, you see it in government. You know, we elect officials, but we never get to vote for the most important things, like um, where our money is allocated, you know, or whether or not we go to war. Um, and these things are things that affect us directly, but yet we have no say over it. It's, um, you know, it's a myth of democracy. So what can people do to get involved and learn more about the issue? Well, to get involved, um, you can always, um, here, in, here in Albuquerque, um, the Answer Coalition um, is uh, more than willing to point people in the right direction, um, whether it's with our group or, um, you know, uh, family members of the victims. Um, we've been working with them for a really long time. And it really boils down to um, finding out, you know, who's doing what and who's planning actions and who's carrying them out and join up with them and um, help out with those. I saw a phone number for, for tips to the, the DOJ about right. um, police brutality. Yes, yes, there is a, a phone number. Um, the, since the Department of Justice is um, investigating the APD, um, we have a uh, 800 number um, that people can call. Okay, thanks. You're welcome.